Hi everybody, here we are at the very last week, week 12. I hope that you've enjoyed all of my projects. This week I am showing you one of my artisan projects um, that I came up with this month. I just think they're really, really cute. I was inspired by these tiny little notepads that I got at Staples. They are three and a half by five and a quarter, and they're just too cute. I love to have little notepads in my purse, so when I saw them, I knew I had to get them. Now, to do the chevron, I did that in MDS and then cut it with an uh, e-cutter. I use a Cameo Silhouette, Silhouette Cameo. Um, and I know that not everybody has one, so I'm going to make one today that uses this cute little guy, ra this reindeer from Color Me Christmas, and we're going to make it without using the silhouette. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to make the little the actual holder for the notepad and right here what I use is a piece of cherry cobbler it's seven and three fourths by five and a half and then I scored it at three and three fourths and four inches right here and right here this little notepad is only about a quarter of an inch thick when you attach it you want to use sticky strips something really strong snail is not enough so make sure you put several strips of sticky strip on there. It, definitely sticky strip is what I recommend. All right, now instead of using those chevrons, I'm just using some of our beautiful DSP, this uh, Season of Style. The candy cane pattern, I think, is probably my second favorite to the little chevron that comes in that pack. I've used it a ton. Um, so what I did is I cut a piece of candy cane uh, DSP. It's three inches by four and a half inches. And then I'm going to put it on a piece of soft suede. It's three and a fourth by four and three fourths. And I'm going to just put these on. You can use snail for this. There's no need to use sticky strip here. Sticky strip's just gonna hold something that is heavy or that's gonna get pulled a lot. And actually, I don't need snail on that. I jumped the gun. Before I put this on, I'm going to take the ribbon that holds it closed, and I am going to, I am going to put a little bit of sticky strip right here to hold this ribbon in place. Okay, and I'm using the Cherry Cobbler Chevron ribbon, and I think it's, I'm sorry guys, it's about two and a half feet. Okay, and I am going to lay this around the notepad and just lay it right there on that, like that. Okay, it's gonna hold it in place and you won't be able to pull it through. Now instead, now you could of course just stick this down on top, but I'm a dimensionals girl and I love to use my dimensionals. So I'm gonna put, I don't know, four, six dimensionals on here and I'm gonna put our little card base or our DSP base right on top of there all right so there we have that now to make this guy there's different ways to um, color in or to you know create color on these open image um, stamps this is called color me christmas and you can see that they're all open images they're not solid when you stamp them so one of the f the ways that i like to do it is to do paper piecing and you want to stamp him using stays on ink and I stamped him first in whisper white let me move that out of the way and then I stamped him on soft suede cherry cobbler a piece of DSP and a piece of old olive and then I just started cutting out pieces I thought I had another one. Yes, here. See, I cut out whatever piece I wanted it to be. So I wanted his sweater to be this plaid. So I just cut the sweater out of there. Out of the soft suede, I cut his head. And out of the old olive, his scarf. Actually, no, I didn't do a scarf. I did the little, the little zigzag. Let me show you. When I, I have all the pieces, I've already cut them. And it does, it is fussy cutting. But really, it doesn't take very long. And um, I don't think it's very, very difficult. So I cut all these pieces. What I did not cut out was the nose and the antlers because those are just black and you can just leave them on there. I'm using the two-way glue pen. It is a little bit easier on these tiny little pieces to get this, all these things stuck down. All right, so I'm gonna start with his little head and do it there. And then I'm going to put a shirt there and his scarf 
And where did his legs go? There they are. And you have to go quickly with this glue because if you wait too long, then it is, it becomes removable ink, I mean removable glue. So um, you don't want to give it that drying time. If you glue on when it's you first put it down, it'll be um, permanent. Whoops. Now for him, I would take my marker, just my soft suede marker, and color in those hands, but I don't have it here, so we're just going to skip that part for right now. Now I'm going to take it and punch it out. This is my two and a half inch circle punch. And I'm going to just put him right there in the middle of this notepad with a couple of, of dimensionals. Okay. Now you could leave him like that or you could get a sentiment, anything you wanted. On the original one I also cut those out with the uh, silhouette. So I'm going to stamp this is Happy Christmas in Early Espresso and I'm just going to make a cute little, and I would use my paper cutter of course, but of course it's not here in front of me. So for time's sake I'm just going to use my scissors and to make that little flag ending cut up a little line and then cut from each corner up to the middle. Okay. Now these little notepads I think are great for your Christmas list. I know with three kids plus my husband plus the teachers plus the neighbors plus you know all the people I have to keep track of keeping this notepad in my purse has helped me I don't know do we want it at the top or the bottom I think I like it at the top it helps me keep everything um, organized I remember what I bought what I need to buy who wants what um, also it could be a great place to write down who I need to write thank you notes for um, as we receive gifts I could have a little page in here for, for um, thank you notes alright so you would just tie your little ribbon and there you have it. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I hope that you get all your projects done ahead of time so that the week leading up to Christmas is not too too crazy. Um, I know I always have last minute things to do even though I try to get them done ahead of time. Um, and thank you so much for subscribing to my mailing list and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.